I have received dozens upon dozens of requests for a segment showing how I prep and store my vegetables to make them last longer. I'm going to start with bell peppers here, but I'll be highlighting more vegetables in future segments, so stay tuned for those. If you follow me on social media, you already know that bell peppers are one of my absolute favorite salad layers. We use lots of these peppers in our recipes at ThatSaladLady.com too. This is with good reason. Besides being among the tastiest, most versatile ingredients, bell peppers are well known for their superior nutrition profile. But the question at hand is, how do you keep them fresh and crisp for as long as possible? For me, there is nothing worse than building a salad bowl with old wrinkly bell peppers. It's not that you can't use wrinkled bell peppers in cooking. They just don't fare very well in salad making or even as fresh snacks. Here I'm going to show you a few different methods for prepping and storing bell peppers. My methods aren't just aimed at prepping and storing them for salad making either. I'm actually going to show you how to prep and store bell peppers for maximum flavor and longevity in all types of dishes. This way they'll never ever go to waste again. I am Nina Cherie Franklin healthy living coach and founder of the blog and brand That Salad Lady. Welcome to my YouTube channel, otherwise known as That Salad Lady University. I am all about educating and empowering you with the real system for planning and prepping your meals regardless of your eating style. Simply put, I'm here to help you build your bowl to achieve real goals. If you're new to That Salad Lady or this channel, please take a second to subscribe and be sure to hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. If you enjoy this segment, hit the like button and leave a comment too, because I value your opinions and I just love feedback in general. Now let's talk about prepping and storing bell peppers for maximum longevity. You can prep and store bell peppers in a lot of different ways. It just depends on how long you want to keep them and how you plan on using them. In my home, we can easily go through a dozen bell peppers in a single week. Most of the time, I'm using them in salads, but not always. I sometimes use them to make stuffed peppers, stir-fry preparations, omelets, and other cooked dishes. It just depends on my meal plans for the week. Now, if I were planning to make stuffed peppers tonight or even tomorrow night, I could easily leave the peppers out on my countertop. Bell peppers can safely sit out at room temperature for a couple of days and still maintain their freshness. But for anything longer than that, I'd have to store them in the fridge, which is what I'm prepping to do here. As you can see, I'm adding some of my peppers to a mesh bag. To stay fresh and crisp, bell peppers need to breathe, and a mesh bag allows for just the right amount of airflow. These bags aren't just good for peppers either. You can use them to store all types of vegetables. If you're interested, I've included a link to my favorite mesh bags below. If you don't have a mesh bag, you can use a plastic bag and simply poke small holes in it with a knife or a fork. I should also mention that I didn't rinse any of the peppers. Rinsing whole bell peppers before storing them in the fridge can actually lead to early spoilage. Better to keep them dirty and dry until you're ready to use them. For maximum freshness and longevity, you'll want to store whole bell peppers in a crisper drawer. If your crisper drawer has a humidity setting, you'll want to set it to high. This will help keep the peppers nice and crisp. Even if you don't have a humidity setting, humidity is naturally generated by whatever else you put inside your crisper drawer. This is why you should always keep this drawer about two thirds full. You should also avoid adding any produce that emits ethylene to the same drawer as your bell peppers. This is basically any produce that's prone to rotting and can include apples, avocado, peaches, pears, and tomatoes to a lesser extent. If you follow these simple steps, your whole bell peppers will stay fresh and crisp in the fridge for about a week, maybe even longer for the green ones. Now, while whole bell peppers are good for up to a week or longer, the clock starts once you actually cut into the peppers. So let's talk about the process of cutting into the peppers. Of course, it all starts with rinsing them. I always give my peppers a nice thorough rinse under cool running water. During this rinse, I also add a simple solution of one part distilled white vinegar to three parts water, just to clean them up a bit more. In addition, I scrub my peppers with a vegetable brush, paying close attention to all the crevices in the peppers. This is where a lot of excess bacteria can hide. That's pretty much it. 
With the rinsing done, it's time for the chopping. Of all the peppers I go through in a week, I typically only include about two to three green ones. This is mainly to add more earthy flavor to dishes as they are generally the least sweet. Since green peppers are prematurely picked, they are also the lowest in nutrients. On the flip side, the more colorful bell pepper varieties contain a powerful cocktail of antioxidants, including vitamin C and those disease-fighting carotenoids I often talk about. In fact, compared to green bell peppers, the red ones have over 10 times more of the carotenoid antioxidant beta-carotene and twice as much vitamin C. That's a lot of immune-boosting, inflammation-reducing power in the colorful ones. Still, I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that the longer bell peppers stay on the vine, the more they'll cost you. But of course, you probably already know this. While it's great to eat a rainbow of different peppers, don't let a color markup deter you from reaping their overall benefits. If price is an issue, you can always go green. Eating some bell pepper is always better than eating none at all. As I mentioned before, how you prep your bell peppers depends on how long you want to keep them and how you plan on using them. I generally chop up my peppers in two different ways, but for many different uses. The first way is dicing, as I'm doing here. This is my go-to method for salad making, but also for prepping chili, stew, soups, and omelets too. Now for the second way, I slice up all the tops and bottoms from my previously diced peppers. As you'll see soon, I freeze these pieces for later use in stir-fry preparations, vegetable bakes, and other dishes that require cooking. By prepping bell peppers this way, you can easily plan multiple meals in advance. But again, once you cut into the peppers, the clock starts. So now let's talk about what to do with the prepped peppers to make them last as long as possible. Here I'm going to start with the tops and bottoms I've sliced up. In preparation for freezing, I give the slices another quick rinse and then drain them well using my salad spinner. If you don't already have a salad spinner, I highly recommend investing in one for quick and convenient meal prep. If you're interested, I've included a link to my favorite salad spinner below. Once the slices are all drained, I spread them out on a baking sheet in preparation for what I call a flash freeze. When the peppers are thoroughly drained and pre-frozen for about an hour, they'll hold their shape really well and won't stick together during the final freeze. The finished product will look a lot like the pre-bagged frozen vegetables sold at grocery stores, and you can use them just as you would use any frozen vegetables. As with the sliced tops and bottoms, I give the diced peppers another quick rinse and then drain them really well. If you would like to store your diced peppers for later use, you can freeze them using the same process as I use for the slices. Here I'm going to prep them to store in the fridge for shorter term use in salad making. As I mentioned before, excess moisture can cause early spoilage, so we want to prevent that. This is best done by lining your storage container with paper towels. As you can see here, I've placed a paper towel on the bottom of my container. After I've added the peppers to the container and evenly spread them out, I place another paper towel on top before sealing them. Once you cut into the peppers, you want to cut off all the air, so be sure to use an airtight container. You'll want to place the sealed peppers in the coldest part of your fridge. When prepped and stored properly, the diced peppers will keep in the fridge for a few days. Now let us revisit the bell pepper slices that I flash froze. After an hour, the flash frozen pepper should be solid, stiff, and ready for long-term storage. At this point, I simply add the slices to a plastic freezer storage bag. As they've already been flash frozen, they should move about freely in the bag without sticking together. The last step is to completely seal the bag and then place it in the freezer. When properly prepped this way, the pepper slices will keep in the freezer for six months, maybe even longer than that. As I mentioned before, you can use the same process to freeze diced peppers, and they'll last just as long. Well, that is all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you've learned all about prepping and storing bell peppers for maximum longevity. If you haven't already done so, please take a second to subscribe and be sure to hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. If you enjoyed this segment, hit the like button and leave a comment too. Feel free to shoot me any questions you may have. I'll see you next time. Take care.